Yeah, the three, two, one is when I actually go kind of blank because that's I kind of thrive off of that. I mean, I'll freak out, get nervous before some workout starts, whether it's a competition or even within the gym with all you guys and pacing around. As soon as that three, two, one hits, uh, since I, I want to say it's again being newer, which again I hope it never goes away, but getting that adrenaline kick, whether it be on the competition floor or in the gym with you guys. <laughs> Ashley, what about you? Uh, three, two, one. I always remind myself to have fun, and like I, I don't know. I've done everything I could do up until that point to be ready for what I'm doing. So now it's time to go out and just have fun. Um, and I always remind myself to stay calm. I never want to go too hard, like right out of the gate, and then regret it in the end when I have nothing left. Because in that last 30 seconds, I'm thinking I get to rest in 30 seconds. So just go. What's your saying? If you choose the lead, if you choose to take the lead. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really insane. That's, yeah. that's crucial in the sport. <laughs> right. That is crucial. I don't ever choose to take the lead. No. I'm the same as Ash. I'm like the opposite of Jay. Like, like the same person. I like, yeah, we're like, we wear the same bra. Same bra. Um, same I, yeah, I like to try to stay as calm and patient as I can because it helps me to like execute the game plan that I went into the workout with. And so I like to try to focus on my breathing, which is huge in the beginning. I try not to let my heart rate get too high, so that at the end, the last three seconds, I'm thinking, all right, I executed, either make up as many reps as you can, or if you're in the lead, go finish and win. Depending what the workout is, if it's a sprint, I'll kind of black out and just go, go, go. You know, and form kind of, you know, takes sacrifice a little bit there. Um, when, if it's a mid to longer duration Metcon, uh, I'm thinking slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You know, just quality, continuing, you know, moving along. So, I like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's good. I where you got that from. That's great. Yeah. I relate three, two, one to skydiving, and you just jumped off the plane. Almost to the point that you're already committed to the workout, so why not move as efficiently as you can and kind of remember your key? I like to think of myself as like a second analogy. Like a, what is that? Uh, like a sphinx cat. Ooh, that's good. Those are cool. Yeah. It's almost just because there's a lot of guys that are a lot faster than me as far as they move, and so I always try to find one that's a good pace horse, and I always try to stay right with them, right with them, game of game of game of playing the fact that they might mess up, and if I continue with the pace that I choose, they'll hopefully just stay close, and or if they burn out, obviously beat them. Last 30 seconds of the workout, it's pretty much finished. I really try to walk away from workouts. I really, I never really try to flat back myself. No, I, I just, I think I, the ground is a bad place to be, like in general. So I think it's one of those things where. Do you ever feel like unsatisfied though? Like once you walk away, if you're not on the ground that end, did you give it your all? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like you should always be ready for something more, or prepared for something more. So. Yeah, I'm the same. Nico Salo said that when animals die, they are found on their back. And he said, I'll never be a dead animal. So he said, he'll never go to his back. Don't get me wrong, I've ended up on my back. Right. Right, but once I realize, once I realize I'm on my back, I'm like, okay, let's get up, get up, get yeah. up, get always up, let's walk around, take a walk, get on an air dive.